Hello everyone, it's Enigma here, and today, I want to talk about, basically, all of the Smash Ultimate information that has come out this week. I've wanted to make a video for a while about this topic, but there's just been so much going on, and there's just been more and more info, like, each and every day this week. Um, this week has been pretty crazy for Smash Ultimate speculation, because there's just been so much stuff going on, to, like, Instagram posts, to, um, reported instances of, instances of, uh, save data corruption. So I thought that I could just come and talk about this whole this whole thing. I'm only going to be talking about like two things that has come out this week. There's been a lot more, uh, but I don't want to talk all like all about it. Uh, there's two things that have really stuck with me and things that I feel is really important and stuff that you know that could uh, be a smash hint and stuff. So let's get started. So. This week has been pretty crazy for Smash, uh, you know, discussion and, you know, speculation because there's just been so much going on, like I already said. Well, there has been an Instagram post of the HAL, the HAL Laboratory, um, the HAL Laboratory, uh, director. Um, he basically posted in, well, he basically posted on his Instagram a picture, uh, I'll show you guys on screen a picture of a Dragon Quest shield with Kirby right there. And then he said, the Braves shield. Very interesting. Now, there's actually other pictures. Like, as you can see, there is an arrow icon. You can, uh, you can know, you know, slide through the images. Um, I'm not gonna do that, but yeah, so we're gonna be talking about this image. So, um, I, as much as I want Sora, now, with this whole Instagram post going on, and the other thing I'm going to be talking about later, now I'm going to have to lean more towards Erdrick. Like I said, you know, Erdrick is a pretty cool character. He has a really cool design and stuff like that, and I completely understand the appeal for Dragon Quest. Dragon Quest is huge in Japan. Some of you may not think that Erdrick may be good uh, from a business standpoint, uh, standpoint, um, and I personally thought Sora made a, was personally a better business standpoint, in my opinion, but it's not that, it's not that, um, Urgic would be a bad business standpoint either, because, um, Dragon Quest is huge in Japan, like, obnoxiously huge, um, Dragon Quest is one of the best-selling video games just because of Japan alone. Like, yeah, there's a few Dragon Quest fans in uh, North America, but it's not one of the big series here. Japan, everyone talks about Dragon Quest. If you were to mention a character like Slime, everyone would know who Slime is. Um, and in fact... Dragon Quest is so huge in Japan that there's this whole urban legend going around that Dragon Quest is so massive that apparently there's this new rule uh, that uh, Dragon Dragon Quest games can't be released over the week because people have been, so much people have been missing school just to play Dragon Quest. So because of that, there's been this whole urban legend saying that only Dragon, Qu uh, Dragon Quest games can only release on weekends. Of course, that is an urban legend, but the thing that's interesting is that when that, um, when that theory basically came around, that's basically when uh, Square started to release those games on weekends. They've never really done a uh, week release of Dragon Quest until Dragon Quest XI, I think. So, you know, I think this could point to Urgic. Um, and, and again, this is Hail Laboratory. These are the guys. These are one of the com these are one of the companies that are behind Smash Brothers. And they said, and pay attention to what he said. He said the Braves Shield. And we all know about that whole data mine. This correlates to Brave. 
Fighter Kind Brave is probably Urgic. Now, in case any of you guys have saw my Sora video, and now some people are probably going to hate me because I said that Sora was probably going to be Brave. I said he might be. If you guys looked at the title, I said he might be Brave. I didn't say Sora is 100% Brave. I said he might be Brave. And, in fact, at the end of the video, I said that they, that Brave could easily be Erdrick. Um, and, you know, it looks like, from now, uh, Brave is Erdrick. That's where I am at right now. And, you know, I just really hope he's not another generic sword fighter. I just really hope he's more interesting. I know a lot of people will be excited for Erdrick, but it's just... I'm tired of the generic sword fighters. In fact, my last video was kind of a topic about that, about generic sword fighters and how I just don't like them, uh, and more specifically the Fire Emblem characters. But Erdrick, I just really hope he's just not a generic anime swordsman that we've been seeing for so long. Just make him interesting, make him stand out from the rest, make him like actually pretty cool. Just make him interesting, that's all I hope. If they do decide to put Erdrick in Smash. Just all I want. Um, now, the next thing I'm going to be talking about uh, is is stuff about the save corruptions. Um, now, this is not All-Star Smash, but instead, this happens on Century Smash. There are two more characters that could possibly corrupt your save data by playing with them in this mode. Those characters are... Me Sword Fighter and Duck Hunt Dog. So those characters, if you play as those characters in Sentry Smash, your save data will corrupt. Like how Piranha Plants, uh, if you play as Piranha Plant and All Star Smash, your game corrupts. This is the same thing here. Now, some people might be like, why does Duck Hunt and Me Sword Fighter corrupt your data? Like. Like, some people might be like, yeah, I understand Piranha Plant, but why those two characters? Well, um, it turns out that Nintendo tends to use future characters, uh, like, they use old characters as a base for new upcoming characters. So, characters that have, like, the same body type as a future character, that basically is, like, the base. So, they use the base character that it has a similar body type to whatever character is going to be new. They use that same. They use them as a base because they are the closest looking to those characters. Now, me, Sword Fighter, and Duck Hunt. Now, uh, the thing is, is that Bowser Jr. was used as a base for like an example is that Bowser Jr. was used as a base for Piranha Plant because uh, there's a lot of similarities because. Uh, Instead of, like, Bowser Jr., he rides in his clown car. With Piranha Plant, he's in a pot. So it's kind of like the same thing. Um, they also used, um... They also used Ike as a base for Cloud. And they also used Zero Suit Samus as a base for Bayonetta. So, yeah, Nintendo tends to use, uh, those characters as bases for future characters. Um, now... Duck Hunt and Me Sword Fighter. You might be like, well... Who are they based off of? Oh, sorry about that, guys. Some people might be like, who are they based off of? Uh, so, I'm going to talk about who these, you know, characters could possibly be basing off of. First, I'm going to start with me, Sword Fighter. That's Erdrick. That is no question that is Erdrick. In fact, I think it could actually be Kid Erdrick. Because me, Sword Fighter, he has, like, the same body type as Erdrick from Dragon Quest. Like... Looking at me, Sword Fighter, it, it screams Erdrick from Dragon Quest. So I definitely think that me, Sword Fighter, is the base for Erdrick. But Duck Hunt. Now, this gets me hyped. I think Duck Hunt could be the base for, you guessed it, Banjo and Kazooie. So, yeah. Um. Now, some people. Now, I'm not. Now. To clarify, I'm not saying that these characters are going to play exactly like these characters. Because a lot of people say that um, uh, Banjo and Kazooie should be like an Echo Fighter for Duck Hunt. And I quite honestly don't understand how that makes any sense at all. 
Duck Hunt and Banjo and Kazooie are nothing alike except for the same like body, uh, like same like functions, like a bear and a bird and a dog and a and a dog and a duck. But that's the only thing that's similar about them. They are not similar in attacks, but they use uh they use certain characters as a base if they have the same you know uh body you know type the same body type. So they use you know for example Ike. Cloud, Zero Two Samus, Bayonetta, and I think it's possible that that is why those characters are corrupting, because they're working with Duck Hunt and Me Sword Fighter to create Banjo and Kazooie and Urdrick. So that's basically the whole thing about that. Now, I really hope, I really hope Banjo and Kazooie is in over Steve. I really hope, and I hope to God that Steve is not the Microsoft rep. I know Steve would be such a huge success because Minecraft is a success, but kids aren't going to buy Steve for Smash because, for the most part, kids are already going to have Minecraft because it's literally one of the most popular games. And some kids might just be like, ah, who cares? We got Minecraft. Why should we focus on just Steve? And the thing is, is that if they were to include Steve in Smash's DLC, he wouldn't even come with the full game. So the, these Minecraft kids would buy, you know, Smash and then later on buy Steve. Um, so th that's why I think Banjo and Kazooie just makes a lot far more sense, in my opinion. But I really hope. Banjo and Kazooie. I would take Erdrick. You know, I, I, I of course, I'm going to be disappointed that Sora is not the square rep, but if we get Banjo and Kazooie, I'm going to be totally happy. But after Banjo and Kazooie, I just hope Crash gets in. Please, please, I need Crash and Smash. I really do. Um, but yeah, anyways, that's basically all I have to say for that. Anyways, what do you guys think? Um, Oh, and another thing I forgot to th talk about, hold on, I forgot to talk about this, is that the only thing that I feel is pointing against this whole theory about the Duck Hunt and the Sword Fighter corruption is that, um, they, uh, there's no character that could possibly be a base for Joker. Um, that's kind of suspicious. Um, I personally feel that, um, yeah, you know, uh, there could be characters on the roster that could be a good, uh, you know, they have kind of like the same body type as Joker. Like, for example, I could see Shulk fitting for that. But maybe, uh, maybe this could be because Nintendo is like working with Joker from the ground up. They're not really basing it off of any character. They're just re, they're like just absolutely like creating Joker. Whereas these other characters, they're just used as a base so that's possibly uh that's possibly my thinking but yeah anyways what do you guys think do you guys you know what do you guys think about all this information that's come out this week let me know in the comments down below and i would love to hear it anyways this has been enigma and peace see you next time